Hey guys, Kyle, the Death Knight of Anime here, bringing you my review for Fire Force Season 2, Episode 18. So, I'm I'm just going to say here and now, uh, uh, I'm going to say here and now, uh, uh, we'll, we'll pretty much decide from, from, the, from the little back half of the episode, which we'll get into. This is probably one of my personal favorite episodes of Season 2, in part because it not only carries over everything that's happened up to this point, and... It gives us introspective on all these events, but it gives a it gives it to us from Iris's perspective and how everything that's happened thus far and everything she's experienced alongside the eighth has all compiled onto this one moment where everything she's believed in and all the lessons she was taught about the church, as we see in the beginning, where are starting to really kind of nag at her and come, she's really coming questioning everything she's believed in as, as we see in the beginning where iris even struggled to even to reassure a single person of their wife's death like everything everything she's believed everything she's been struggling with they all came crashing down in this episode to the point where the only thing keeping her from outright thinking her beliefs weren't worth worth holding on to was was the small traditions and customs that, that she would pretty much perform every time she, she visited the church um i also like how we get perspective on just how it's not just iris but faith in the holy soul temple itself has begun to break down honestly and, and it's not even just like with, with, with the people who with the people who, who with the people who, who, who pretty much pray at the holy soul temple but but act, but actual like actual nuns and 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 priests would and actual nuns and priests who, 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 who train at the Holy Soul Temple themselves are actually starting to, are starting to doubt the, 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 their own, are starting to doubt what, what what their own teachings here, and I think, and honestly, I think it's something a lot of people can relate to because at some point in our life, whether we're a nun, just a regular old person off the street, we all at some point in our life have a crisis of faith in what to believe in for, but 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 norm and but but at the same time when it comes to having that crisis of faith it's usually it's usually well it's, it's usually pretty much from it's usually it's usually from, from it's usually from from the ashes of that that we also tend to gain new perspectives on our beliefs and as well just, just, just like pretty much how Jan did when, when, when he said that even though he's even though he's pretty much failing to and he said that even though he 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 he's failing to really understand like faith in the evangelist evangelist he the the one the one thing he holds faith onto is is the power of the great sun the the the, the thing that everyone like everyone has has drawn their power from everyone has has drawn their power from and and from that one little moment I I also really like how in the end even though Shinra didn't necessarily have an answer himself and was struggling just with the idea of what to believe in even more than iris the one thing he knew more than anything is that he had faith in iris because to him because to shinra iris and the sisters and priests that, that from serve alongside the fire soldiers are the ones providing the guiding light of the sun that help people out of the darkness of fear not and not not the, the, the not the perm evangelist and I like how the sunflower sort of serves a nice bit of, of subtle symbolism in order to reinforce this idea that yeah it, even even if the evangelist is 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 evil the evangelist is, is a false god whatever else that doesn't matter the the, 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 the ones the ones who are who are providing faith and and real faith who are providing who are providing faith and the ones who are are, are, who are providing, who are, are bringing people out of the darkness in these times? Are are the fire force and and the priests and the event and the nuns? They're the ones who are, who are who are giving people hope in these dark times, and it's and and it's and and to this and and, and an idea like this, it might seem a little hokey and just redressing of the believe in your friend shtick. But it's kind of a very grounded look at religion or just any belief system in general. That even 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 if, for instance, you 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 basically you pretty much lose lose pretty much faith in a god or something like that, 
there are still there are still core beliefs there are still core beliefs and ideas that there are still core beliefs and ideas that you can you can still still pretty much hold faith in I think and in that sense it is a it is a very grounded look at religion or just any belief system in general really so yeah it's again this, this and and especially for someone and I'll just say straight up for someone like me who's very spiritual you could say I I was honestly rocking with this episode a lot because it definitely it definitely it definitely again the, the the whole idea of of base of having that crisis of faith of of not entirely knowing what what what, what to believe in what when you're faced with a certain when you're faced with a certain when you're faced with a certain situation where everything you believe in comes crashing down on you you you, you do tend to find ways in which to you still find ways in which to believe in those in those same ideals and those same beliefs so yeah it's in this episode i i can really rock with this episode a lot um all that aside though i guess the one thing you could definitely argue with this all that aside though i think one argument to, i think one argument that that's going to be in that that you could make it one argument you can make against this episode is that it is that it didn't is that the episode didn't really go any anywhere anywhere too far pacing wise like it, it really kept itself really self contained with, with within pretty much the church and what what else happened in this episode near the end but it it didn't really go too far pacing wise and on top of the fact that it again it ended on a really awkward way it was that this this was really more of an episode where it didn't really further the story it really just served to transition us into the next arc i guess but this is definitely also one of those episodes like, like i just said everything i just said it's one of those episodes that was definitely more character focused and just provided a bit of an introspective on how everything that's happened and all the changes happening to the world right now and and how how all those changes are affecting our heroes which i think is 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 still still very important in order to in order to provide development and, and just just show just from just from how far our heroes can come and and how far their own their own sort of beliefs are going to affect their actions in the future um but this is definitely and but yeah that but yeah the, the uh, I will admit that the one the one thing I can't the one thing I can't defend about this episode is that whole back half with uh is that whole back half with 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 with, with Prince Tomaki and and Prince Salt having this constant like back and forth like duel with each other like even like yeah, honestly the, the whole Salt versus Tomaki part of this episode even when read it, it's one of those things that even when reading the manga. I thought that was the most pointless, inconsequential side story in order to put in the middle of the overall narrative here. Like, but it's like, like, th th what, what is this thing? That this has no reason to exist other than be a little bit of a comedy moment. That, that's really the only thing about it. Like, again, it's one of those problems where it isn't just something to, that has to do with the anime. The, the manga has the exact same problem. I'm like, what the fuck is this little is this little side story? Duel, whatever the fuck this is. What is this doing here? Like, this is no purpose for being here. <laughs> uh, um, and, but I'm, but I'm, I will admit, I'm at least thankful that, that they basically knocked, that they, they basically, that the animators had, had knocked this one out in this episode, in this one episode, rather than like extending it to like another episode. So I'm at least thankful for that. Um, the other problem I guess I can say against this episode is that art and animation, this was not one of the greatest episodes, but it's this art and animation wise this was the animation wise this wasn't exactly the greatest this week, but it's not exactly an episode that demands high quality animation either. So as a whole, you could say pacing wise and animation wise this episode was a good to intermediate episode with some great character moments with Iris and and, and Shinra, but yeah. But uh, so yeah, but overall, I I still I still I really liked I really loved this episode. It, it provided a great like introspective f from Iris's from Iris's like from Iris's point of view. So yeah. But with that said, guys, that's all I got for this review. If you enjoyed the video, like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Alistair Control. Dead and Dead of Enemy. Signing off. Later, guys.